Hello, Parcheesi fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today, we're going to be talking about Raid 1. Yesterday, we talked about Raid 0. Today, Raid 1. Now, Raid 1 is a configuration where we have two hard drives and only two. We can only have two. And uh, these two drives, uh, the total storage space of these two drives connected in a RAID 1 is going to be the total size of a single drive. So for example, if I have two one terabyte drives, the total storage size I'm going to have is one terabyte. So you might be sitting there saying to yourself, well, that's kind of silly, what a waste of money. Why would I do something like that? Well, I'm glad you asked because I'm gonna tell you. The reason that we wanna use RAID 1 is specifically for redundancy. We lose the uh, input-output speed advantages that we had with RAID 0, but what we do gain is that whatever we're writing to one disk, it's getting automatically written or mirrored to the second disk. So we have two disks with the same data in real time, all the time. When we're going to forensically collect this, we're going to collect it typically virtually. Uh, uh, so we're gonna grab the logical image. Now, once again, we could pull each drive out. We could forensically image each one separately and then rebuild the array with uh, you know, most any forensic tool. Uh, but we don't even need to really rebuild the array because each drive has the same information on it. So uh, we could look at one drive and get the forensic goodness that we need. Now, when we get into unallocated space, that may be a little bit of a different uh, uh, kettle of fish, but not a whole lot. So remember, the pros are that uh, we have redundancy. That is the biggest pro. That's the biggest reason why we might want to use RAID 1. And the con is we lose that input-output speed that we had from RAID 0. But again, imaging, pretty straightforward pretty easy to do. Uh, deal with it as though you were maybe trying to do a live image and pull the volume off of the RAID 1 as opposed to imaging both disks. Uh, we, we learn a lot more about uh, RAID and uh, the different types of RAID and more types of RAID than we're going to talk about here. In Forensics 498 Battlefield Forensics, we get uh, fairly deep in the weeds with the types of RAID and uh, why companies need to start thinking about different, different uh, storage media than RAID because uh, RAID is getting untenable. So tomorrow we're going to talk about RAID 5, probably one of the most popular RAIDs in use today. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.